We're on a different property in far western Oklahoma and just another example of a true biological desert. Now there's tons of sign in here because there's an ag field out front and they're moving through, but I'm gonna have to do just pan around over here. I mean, there's nothing right down where deer, quail, turkey, whatever live, nothing. And then come on around, Drew. In the state of Oklahoma, the state of Oklahoma, not me publishes, this, they think they're losing about 700 acres a day to cedars. And that's one here, one there, one here, one there. Not all in one place, obviously, but, you know, in the state of Oklahoma's a big state, but this used to be something besides this cedar encroached area, and cedars have just encroached in here with no management. And uh, right over here, there's some smile axe. You probably know it as cat briar, green briar pretty shade tolerant, but there's no leaves. I mean, you gotta get way up there to where there's a leaf. The deer have just stripped everything off here. The only thing growing down low is like a quarter inch or so, because anything smaller has been consumed. Um, one for that ag field, this would be, you know, marginal carrying capacity at best, because there's just nothing in here. All the, the sun is being captured by these crowns, so there's no sunlight to photosynthesize down here and grow. And it's been published that on a cedar tree, 40% of the moisture, the rain, uh, hits the trees, either taken in by a tree or evaporates off before it hits the ground. So, you know, you're creating a, a desert just because of vegetation. If this was native grasses and wildflowers or forbs, this would be way more productive and better cover. I always hear, oh, don't cut cedars, they're great cover. Well, where's the cover at, folks? Where's the cover? I mean, where is the cover? There's no, look. I mean, just look down through here. Follow my arm, look down through there. There is no cover, no cover. So I'm gonna get hate mail. Every time I talk about cedars, I get hate mail. Oh, do you ever see a cedar tree? Well, you're probably in Iowa on a steep hillside that's too steep to, to plow. So therefore that's, where, that's the only cover around. So of course there's deer in there. It's the only cover around. Doesn't mean it's good quality cover. It's just the only cover. You know, if I'm kind of hungry and I see a, an ant or a mushroom or something that's edible go by, I might eat it. But I haven't been that hungry, folks. I'm not that hungry. And so this could be much more productive habitat. And we're going to prescribe, uh, you know, what's coming now, you know, some chainsaw work. We're going to fire up the steel and uh, hopefully talk to the landowner to drop in a match.